Hello friends, I am Kanchan Sharma and I am Assistant Professor of Botany in Biani Group of Colleges and I welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Friends, in my last video lecture, we discussed about different type of life cycle which are found in algae. We discussed about the alternation of generation as well and we discussed about different type of life cycle which were given by fresh. So basically fresh uh, has given uh, in algae that there are four type of life cycle are found out of which two are very simpler type of life cycle and two are the complex type of life cycle. The initial two life cycles are haplontic or haplobiontic life cycle and uh, another one is diplontic or diplobiontic life cycle which we uh, have already uh, studied in the previous video lecture. Here in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the remaining two complex type of life cycle in which we are going to study about the haplodiplobiontic type of life cycle and triphasic type of life cycle. So uh, friends let us begin with the haplodiplobiontic type of life cycle. So here I have uh, made a diagram like uh, you can see in haplodiplobiontic type of life cycle uh, there are two type of plants found. In the previous two type of life cycles we have seen that only one type of plant is found be it uh, sporophytic in nature be it gametophytic in nature but here we can see two type of plants in a single species. And the example for such type of life cycle are the uh, pheophyce members of pheophyce. Okay, so uh, here we can see that uh, there are two type of plant. One is the sporophytic plant, and another one is the gametophytic plant. That is, haploid and diploid plants are found in one species only. In the li the life cycle completes when the plant make these two species alternatively, and hence it shows the alternation of generation also. Here the uh, sporophytic plant which is diploid plant. In the sporophytic plant the gametangium are present and the gametangium they uh, form the gametes fine and they form the gametes with the help of reduction division and uh, 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 that is meiosis and after reduction division of meiosis which spores are formed these spores are called the meiospores fine. These meiospores they germinate and as they are haploid in nature which kind of plant they will form? Yes, they will form the haploid plant only that is gametophytic plant. Right uh, now in this gametophytic plant uh, the mitotic division occur and after mitotic division they form two type of gametes that is male gamete and female gamete and these two type of gamete they fuse. Uh, that is known as syngamy and after syngamy uh, they form zygote and this zygote it germinate and after germination it form again the sporophytic plant. So hence here we can see that uh, both two type of plants are found in one species only and the life cycle is being completed only when these two type of plants are alternating after each other fine. So in pheophyce members of pheophyce it occurs. Now, uh, in uh, this type of life cycle, uh, two type of uh, thallus or two type of uh, species are also found. One is the isomorphic type of uh, plant species and uh, or uh, isomorphic type of life cycle of haplodiplobantic and another one is the uh, heteromorphic type of uh, life cycle in haplodiplobantic. Now as you can understand with the name only that in isomorphic type of uh, haplodiplobantic life cycle the sporophytic plant and gametophytic plant both the plant look alike to each other. They look morphologically to each other but yes anatomically uh, one is uh, like a haploid plant and another one is the diploid plant. And uh, in the 
uh, another one like uh, we are discussing about the heteromorphic type of uh, diplobantic uh, diplobantic life cycle uh, there uh, is change in the morphology the sporophytic plant is larger in size as compared to the gametophytic plant gametophytic plant are always shorter in size so we can observe only after watching them morphologically that yes yeah, this is a uh, sporophytic plant and this is the gametophytic plant now i have drawn a diagram here on the board uh, of the life cycle uh, right here you can see that is sporophytic plant that is twice and or deployed in nature in sporophytic plant the reduction division occurs and after reduction division the meiospores are formed after reduction division the meiospores are formed which are haploid in nature these meiospores germinate and they form gametophytic plant the gametophytic plant forms the gamete that is the female gamete and male gamete in male and female gamete the syngamy or fusion occurring and after the fusion zygote is formed and zygote germinate and forms the sporophytic plant fine so here we have seen that uh, like uh, from here to here it is equally divided in two parts this is the sporophytic or diploid generation and this is the haploid generation these two generations are equally distributed in this type of life cycle so this is all about the haplodiplobantic type of life cycle with world class education and excellent placement record biani group of colleges is committed for your bright career biani group of colleges where you can trust so friends lastly we are going to discuss about the triphasic life cycle in algae uh, which is the most complicated type of life cycle which is found in algae as we have seen in earlier two type of life cycle that is haplontic and the plontic life cycle only one type of plant is found in second type that is a haplo diplontic type of life cycle or diplo haplontic type of life cycle we have seen that two type of uh, plants are found that is sporophytic plant and gametophytic plant here in triphasic as you can understand with the name only name itself that it it has three phases of uh, in its life cycle and uh, out of them one phase is gametophytic phase that is haploid phase and two uh, the remaining two phases are sporophytic phase or diploid phase okay so here we can see that uh, two generations are uh, found one is haploid generation and another one is the diploid generation the haploid generation uh, is forming the gametophytic plant and the diploid generation is forming two type of sporophytic plant one is the carposporophytic plant which is intermediate between the gametophytic and tetrasporophytic plant and another one is tetrasporophytic plant these two are the diploid type of plant which are found here in uh, this uh, type of life cycle so uh, friends what is occurring here mainly the plant is uh, gametophytic this type of life cycle is found in the members of rhodophyce and the important example of it uh, is polysiphonia here the main plant that we have seen uh, is gametophytic plant and uh, there are two type of gametophytic plant that is male gametophyte and female gametophyte the male gametophyte and female gametophyte both have gametangium in which they form the gametes with the help of mitotic division after the mitotic division the male gamete is forming and the female gamete is forming fine these male and female gamete they fuse with each other with the help of syngamy and after syngamy they form a diploid carposporophytic plant so here it is showing its sporophytic generation fine in carposporophytic generation the mitotic division is occurring and after mitotic division they are forming some special type of spores they, these are called as carpospores these carpospores under the favorable condition uh, they germinate and after germination they are forming the tetrasporophytic plant fine uh this tetrasporophytic plant uh, is also having the sporangia and the in, in the sporangia of uh, the tetrasporophytic plant the meiosis 
or reduction division is occurring and after reduction division the meiospores or the spores are being formed these spores are called the tetraspores as uh, these tetraspores are formed by the tetrasporophyte hence they are called as tetraspores fine these tetraspores they germinate and now they are forming as they are haploid in nature because they are formed by reduction division so they are forming male and female gametophytic plant so i have shown all this thing that we are discussing in this diagram only here the male and female gametophyte which are haploid in nature this male and female gametophyte they are forming the male and female gamete this male and female gamete are fusing with the help of syngamy and forming the carposporophyte which is diploid in nature the diploid carposporophyte undergoes mitosis division and form carpospores these carpospores germinate and form tetrasporophytic plant which is diploid in nature because carpospores are diploid in nature now it goes it undergoes the meiosis division and they form the tetraspores which are haploid in nature these are tetraspores it is haploid in nature now they germinate and after germination they form female and male gametophytic plant hence we can see that uh, from here to here it is being shown by haploid or gametophytic generation and this area is shown by diploid or sporophytic generation and this sporophytic generation is again divided in this tetrasporophyte and carposporophyte so here we can see that three generations are formed one is haploid generation and two are the diploid or sporophytic generation in such a way it is having three phases so such type of life cycle is called as triphasic life cycle and it is the important feature of rhodophyce members of rhodophyce only so friends uh, i hope that uh, this video was helpful for you all thank you for watching and please if you like it then like it share it and subscribe to our channel and for more such informative videos please log on to our website that is gurukpo.com thank you so much for watching